I have a typical day and then I have a typical week because every day is different, which is one of the things I also like about my job is that every day is different. So for example, Monday morning, I will get up and get my children up, get them dressed, take them to the bus stop, drop them off. And then I go to a meeting called morbidity and mortality rounds where we talk about things that have gone wrong with patients. It's a one hour meeting, everybody's there, all the surgeons, all the residents, all the trainees, and we discuss the patients. Then I go to the hospital, the veterans hospital, and we have teaching rounds. And that's when we walk around and see all the patients that are in the hospital on the general surgery service, and the lowest person on the totem pole, so either the medical student or the intern, will present the patient, and we will critique how they do the presentation. And we'll talk about the patients, and we'll figure out what the plan is for the next treatment or whether they need a test, that sort of thing. And we teach. Then um, on uh, every other Monday, I go to the operating room, and I get the robot that day. So I get to use the robot, which I really love, because it's, I hook it up to the patient, and it has these great arms and this camera that I control from a console. So I sit in a console, comfortable, with my hands like this, and I operate. I have a fellow in the operating room, and she sometimes will be, um, will be at the bedside, and then sometimes she'll be on what's called the console, which is where we sit and do the operation. And if she's on the console, we take turns. So every 10 minutes, she operates, and then an alarm goes off, and I take over, and I operate for 10 minutes. And that way she learns, but we move along with the case. And as we move along in the year, slowly I let her do more and more of the operation. So now she's doing all of the operation. So on another day, I, I might be at the children's hospital instead of the VA, and at the children's hospital, I see patients, and um, I'll usually see one new patient, and then I see a bunch of follow-up patients or pre-op patients. The program I run there, I will see patients once a month for six months before they have surgery, and I do surgery for obesity in kids. So I treat kids with very severe obesity, we do surgeries that allow them to lose weight by changing their hormones and turning their uh, obesity genes off. And what we do is we teach them how to eat and uh, how to exercise before surgery, and then we follow them up after surgery and make sure that they're able to do all of that and support them emotionally. So it's a lot of fun. I love the kids, and uh, we have a really good relationship. And then after... Um, after clinic, and that clinic runs from noon to four, uh, I, I sometimes in the morning before that, I'll have an endoscopy that I'll do on the kids to check and see if their stomach is good for surgery, or I might have an operation in the morning at the children's hospital. So every day after I'm done with clinic, I go home and pick up the kids, and I'll either order out dinner or make dinner, depending on how I'm feeling that day. If I'm super tired and I've been working hard, I just call up DoorDash and have them send some food over, and then I'll just hang out and help the kids do their homework, uh, get ready for bed, go in the hot tub, and then go to bed.